I wanna show you a super simple way to clean up your audio, and this method is pretty wild. So my buddy Dave Mays turned me on to this software called Aphonic, and it just changes the game when it comes to finishing a video, especially for here on YouTube. If you have bad audio, whether it's mixing or the sound quality or anything, it's gonna cause your viewer to not be as interested. Could you imagine if the audio was super low for one section and then super loud for another and then super low and then you have music and you can't hear what someone's saying and then there's sound effects and then there's wind. And... <sighs> Wouldn't be good. You want audio to be clean across the entire video. So there's a few things that you wanna do to clean up your audio before you hit export. Now, one of those things that you wanna do is make sure that the sound is consistent from beginning to end. And if there's a lot of background noise, you wanna clean that up so it's not distracting. So let's take a look at one of my projects. This was a video I released recently. It's a video that I did all around the DJI Action 2. I went out into the desert and showed kind of behind the scenes on how I craft a video using a small little action camera and how I use it in a bunch of different ways. Now, when you look at this timeline, it's a 15 minute video. There's a lot of dialogue and I shot a lot of it using the DJI mic. But as I'm making this video, you can see that there's different things going on in the background and I'm kind of moving all over the place. In this shot here, I'm holding the mic right up to my mouth. In this previous shot, it's on my shirt and I'm in a car. In this shot, I'm outside and there's some background noise. You can see like the Jeeps in the background. So there's just a lot of different types of audio, even though I'm using one mic for this entire video. Now, when I pulled this into my software, the audio levels weren't perfect. It's not always perfect when you're out recording and that's why you wanna do an audio mix before you export your video. And that's where this website comes in. It's called Aphonic. Before you even touch your audio, you can send it through this website and it's gonna do all of the cleanup for you and it's going to do it section by section. So it's not like a blanket plugin that you put over everything. It's actually going through and using automation to figure out where the peaks and valleys are and how you can clean it all up. So this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. This is actually just a piece of software that I have been using on almost all of my videos since I've learned about it. So let me show you how I use this for my videos. Back in Final Cut, you can see I have some music here and here. Well, I set up everything with roles. So if I go over to index and pull up my roles, I can see in my dialogue track, I can have all of my dialogue here and then all my music is on a different timeline. If I have sound effects, I would also make that a separate role as well. And so when I go to export in Final Cut, I go to my roles tab and I separate it as separate audio. So I have all my music and all my dialogue and I'm gonna just get rid of all my music. So I'm only exporting my dialogue and then I'll export just the dialogue and that's what I'm gonna to use to bring up to a phonic. Now, before you get to this stage, you wanna make sure that the video is cut and done. You don't wanna be going through and doing edits. So this is something you do towards the end of the video process. You might do your audio sweetening and color grading last. And so you wanna make sure all your cuts are done because what you're gonna do is upload this file to a phonic and it's gonna send you back a file that then you're gonna use in your edit. So let's jump over to a phonic and I'm gonna start a new production and I'm just gonna call this action Two BTS video and I'm going to upload the file that I just exported. Now you can add Add a bunch of different data here but all I really do is add a title and then I go down to my audio algorithms and so these are the different things that you have access to just on the free account so if you want to try this out you can get up to two hours of content for free so they basically pay by the minute so I'm still on the free account because my videos are only eight to ten minutes sometimes 15 so I've been using this on multiple videos so far and I'm still on a free account once I hit that limit I'm gonna start paying but the tools you have access to is first an adaptive leveler. And this basically looks at all the audio and corrects it so that it's all at the same level so that you don't have these highs and you don't have these super lows. It basically makes it seamless. It's like a compressor. Next you have loudness normalization. So this will basically raise everything to a certain level. You can add on a high pass filter, which is gonna clean up dialogue and it's gonna remove any unnecessary low frequencies. And then you can also do a noise reduction and hum reduction. The cool thing about this is you're not having to go into your editing software and twist dials and add on plugins. This software is doing it all for you. So it's going through and basically keyframing as you would have to do to go clean up little sections. So you're gonna start your production, you're gonna click go, and basically you just leave the browser open and it takes a few minutes depending on how long your audio file is, and then it's all cleaned up. Now here's one of the coolest parts. When your audio is done, 
it shows you an input and output, and you can see how my audio levels were all over the place, and then it shows how the audio was cleaned up and how it was normalized. And so now I can go through and download this file, bring it onto my computer, and I'm gonna bring it into Final Cut. Now for my Final Cut users, I will add an audio roll of a phonic. I've actually made that a category. And then I'll take my dialog and I'll mute all of that. Now you replace all this audio on your timeline with the Aphonic file and you're ready to export. Now this is just for dialog cleanup. So if you have music, if you have sound effects, you're gonna wanna mix those before you actually export your video to make sure all the levels are correct. And so if I have a more complex edit, the next step that I would take is go through and mix my music and sound effects to make sure they fit with the file that I now produced out of a phonic. So next, you need to make sure you check out this video right here, which goes through the video that I was talking about in this video, which is actually about another video that I did on my second channel. So it's a video within a video within, just watch this video.